All right, so would I describe someone as an entrepreneur that uses the brand and name of someone else? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video because it's a very interesting topic and it's happening more often than not right now. And we could really dive into it from the viewpoint of both, you know, the brand name, we could dive into it from ideas, operations, all of that stuff if we really wanted to. So with that, I'm gonna get started. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and we'll talk about, we'll talk about the topic because it's interesting. All right, so would I classify an entrepreneur as someone, or could I say someone's an entrepreneur that uses somebody else's name and brand to build a business? The instant reaction I have to that is no, because it's not, they're not, it depends. Like if they're partners, then you're not really, it's not really being an entrepreneur, you're being a partner. You know, you're kind of like a co-business owner. Um, you know, entrepreneurs, you know, they're building something on their own from scratch. You know, it's their, they're, they're the ones that are picking up the phone. They're the ones that are being innovative and creating their own ideas. Uh, and this is my viewpoint, so you could disagree or agree with it, but this is how I view it, right? So if I hear the term entrepreneur, I'm like, okay, that guy's an innovator. He stands on his own. He built his own systems, he built his own processes, he solved his own problems, and he built his own brand under him or company under him. Um, what we, the other situation where you have someone that's using somebody else's name to further their own career, it's not really an entrepreneur, that's more of a partner uh, in my viewpoint. It's more of a, a, you're hired working with. You are not an individual entrepreneur. You could be entrepreneurial in spirit, but you don't fit the classical definition of entrepreneur. You're using somebody else's entrepreneur creation, somebody else's brand to really further your own. And when that happens, your identity is no longer your own at that point. You become an extension of the original entrepreneur or original business that was built. You're no longer your own thing. So you have an entrepreneur that's his own thing, like this cup of espresso, and then you have an entrepreneur-minded person that's riding on top of somebody else's deal, and now that's an assimilation. So I don't see that. I can't say that that's an entrepreneur if they're using somebody else's brand. Now, could you be an entrepreneur who took somebody else's business model, uh, somebody else's style, and kind of made it your own? For sure, that's an entrepreneur. You're improving on something. You have, I think the key component is innovation. The key component is driving innovation um, on one's own determinism, not using somebody else's determinism to build something. Um, like when, where I was working before, I was entrepreneurial in spirit. I wasn't a partner, I was an employee, but I built my own brand. But it was more like I was underneath the wing of somebody else's brand. And all I was, was an extension, an extension of that brand's mission, purpose, and deal. That entrepreneur's extension. I wasn't my own thing. Like now, my own company is my own baby. I built it from scratch. I make the phone calls. I run the organization. We do production. And it's mine. Like, that's an entrepreneur. I've even transitioned into business owner at this point. Like, I'm no longer an entrepreneur. I still have the entrepreneurial spirit. I'm still creating new things and building things to improve upon the way the business is. But by definition, I'm innovating on an industry. And that's an entrepreneur. So I don't use anybody else's brand to further my own. I am the brand and I build the brand. So, yeah, interesting topic. Hope you guys like it. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. What's up everybody? Hey, so listen, thank you so much for watching this video. I wanna take a couple minutes and talk to you about a lot of the stuff that we offer. So look, if you're needing content to accelerate your brand, you wanna shoot 80 videos, 400 photos, have us manage your social media, 
okay? Manage your advertising, build you a website, brand coaching, consulting. We have our 90-day content accelerator package. We can also do that in six months, over 12 months, however you wanna do it. It's definitely something you take a look at. We also have a bunch of courses, okay? We have a course on creativity that you should check out, all right? If you wanna unwind your brain and your mind and really give you some ideas about how to be more creative, that course is available at cislowventures.com. You can go to the training tab at the top and get access to that. We got a Photoshop training course for design, how you could design and learn the fundamentals of Photoshop so that you could do stuff for social media and beyond. We also have our social media marketing and branding course. One-time pay, of course, you go to cislowventures.com, go to the training tab at the top and get access to that. If you need consulting, if you want me to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, I can help you do that, debug your brand, give you some direction, give you some clarity. You need a website, you need design, you want video production, you need social media management, advertising, funnels, email marketing. That is what I do, that is what my team does. Our company, Cislo Ventures, is really what we focus on is how to deliver better things for our clients. So if you need any of those things, you can go to cislowventures.com, you can post in comments below, you can email info at cislowventures.com, DM me on any social platform at Robert Cislo Jr. and I'll be there to help you, all right? Subscribe and like if you haven't done already and thanks so much for watching. My, me and my team are here to help you in any way we can. We look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks.